Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Brandy. Um, this is my very first cosplay I've ever made. Uh, I'm still very new to the crafting and sewing community, so this video may be a little bit longer than most, but I'm just hoping I can help others like I needed. So I've only made a couple of garments like skirts while sewing, so freehanding a cape was insane for me. Um, it was definitely a challenge, but I am here to learn and push myself and I hope I can teach you guys something along the way. I left one part in this video of where I messed up. I got frustrated really easy with this cape. Um, more so the hood. The hood was a nightmare for me. Um, I could not get her little point and I was going to lose my mind. This fabric was new to me. I've never used this fabric before. So there's a lot of new elements for a recipe of disaster, but I think it went well. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if there's anything I could have done differently or any tips or pointers you may have. Just leave them in the comments down below and I hope you enjoy. These are the materials you'll need. Two to four yards of fabric. Bias tape is optional. Good fabric markers or pencils and good fabric scissors. So first, I started off laying the fabric on the ground. I laid the fold on the top and opened sides on the bottom. I forgot that I was working with four yards of fabric. You should probably stick to around two yards unless you mess up a lot like me. I luckily had help pulling it tight, but if you don't, maybe try putting something heavy on the fold and lightly pull on the other end. Next, I laid the fabric with it ending about mid-calf on me. From the fold, I measured down to my shoulders, which was about 23 inches. If you need or want it longer, that may not work for you, so try pulling the fabric uneven. You don't need the fold for the main part of the cape, the fold is for the hood. Make sure it's the length you want before you cut. I would suggest getting good fabric markers. Mine are these Singer pencils, and I hate them. They do not work for me at all, but honestly, it could have been the fabric. From that 23 inch mark, or the shoulder length that you marked, cut a straight line the best you can. I assure you, mine were not, but if I could go back, I would use a ruler. Next, I measured 18 inches across, then cut up. Again, not the cleanest lines, but it worked. Set the 18 inches aside for now. It's not needed at this moment. I ended up using bias tape because I didn't like the look of just sewing the raw edges together, but if you do, that's completely fine. I sewed that to all the edges because I got a little carried away, but you don't have to. One edge will be sewn to the cape so you won't see the bias tape there. I have never used bias tape before, so I did have to look up a video. I will say this fabric was really hard for me to work with. It kept slipping around and would fall off my little table. So make sure you're ready for it or have a bigger table, I guess. Here, I show sewing the shortest sides of the hood. Like I said, I got carried away. You do not need to do that. The shortest sides will be sewn to the cape. At least sew bias tape or the raw edges on one side of the longest sides. I did not sew it completely as you can see, but that's okay. If this happens to you, you can just hand sew it real quick. I 
I then pinned and sewed the other long side together. I wanted to create that little point she has on her hood, but I could not successfully make it. So for the sake of my nerves, I skipped it. I thought with this hood left and right, I was ready to quit with how much this hood was giving me trouble. So I did a lot of trial and error that I had planned on showing, but I didn't want this video to be too long. So I hope this video helps you in any way possible. Afterwards, I tried it on, not realizing my whole head was not in the frame, but this is what it felt like. After the hood was done, I went and sewed the bias tape to all the sides of the cape, minus the side that is going to connect to the hood. I actually messed up this part of the bias tape, and that is why you see me sewing it on weird. So off camera, I did have to seam rip all of that, then sew it the correct way. I did have this weird finished edge, so I was trying to cover that. Keep that in mind if you have something similar. So now that all of the sides but one are done, this is where it gets a little tricky. I grabbed the hood and started pinning it to the cape. The cape and the hood will not line up, so I pinned the two ends of the cape and hood together, knowing that I need the cape and the hood to match up there. I then tried to find the middle of the cape as best as possible. Then from the middle of both the left and right sides, I grabbed the fabric and pinched and folded it in two spots, meeting in the middle. This was my first time doing a pleat, so just try your best if you're new at this as well. Carefully pin it to the hood without actually unpinning the pleat you just created. Now sew, and try not to cry, because I know I wanted to. My biggest mistake was not sewing far enough into the cape, and parts of it didn't stay sewn together, so I had to go back and hand sew those. After that was done, I wasn't 100% happy with how it looked, so I ironed out some of the bias tape I had left, and I pinned it over where the hood and the cape met, giving it a nice finish. I use these little hook and eyes to keep the cape closed. This is my finished product. I had a lot of loose threads in this hood area. I carefully burned them with a lighter. If you do this, please be careful. Like I said, I didn't sew far enough down on the hood and cape, so one spot was giving me trouble. But I hand stitched it really quick, and I think it came out nicely. So that was my video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. Um, I know I did. I am going to make this a part series. Obviously by the description, this was only the cave. So maybe I'll see you around in the next video. Bye.